I'm Megan Mauser, a pet expert with Pet Value, here to talk to you about a topic that's a little bit creepy, crawly, itchy. We're talking about fleas and ticks. If they gross you out, you're not alone. They gross most of us out. So let's arm you with some pet expert knowledge to make them just a little bit less scary. They're still pretty gross though. The first sign that your pet has fleas is likely that they're scratching more than normal. You're gonna wanna check the warmer areas of them under the tail, the tummy, armpits, ears, for little brown specks of dirt. You'll then take a wet paper towel and kind of blot those areas. If there's red, it likely means that it's flea dirt and your pet has fleas. Remember, it's important to treat both your pet and your home at the same time. We offer a variety of products for both. Ticks can be found in long grass, trees, shrubbery, pretty much any time that the temperature is consistently above freezing. An attached tick looks like a mole, whereas one that isn't attached can look kind of like a seed. Remember to remove the ticks both quickly but carefully. We offer a tick key or similar tools in our stores. Just remember to use alcohol and disinfect the area prior to using anything like this. Remember to wear gloves, and once the tick is out, Put it in a container with either soapy water or alcohol. Throwing it away or flushing it likely will not kill it. You'll want to seek medical advice at this time. Remember you can't plan for a tick bite, so keeping some of the essentials in a pet first aid kit in your car and home is good advice. Flea and tick preventatives can really help. Remember when using these products to use them exactly as prescribed on their labels. Monitor your pets for any side effects after their use. I hope you found this information extremely helpful. Good luck with your battle of the bugs.